Let me get straight to the point you can do the Murphy course actually on a budget. Uh, but of course, if you want to have a view, you want to be in the best location, if you want to be next to, for example, the Positano Beach, well, it's gonna be an expensive experience. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about the towns to stay on the Murphy Coast. Each town tends to gather a different kind of crowd. But let's start straight away with Positano, probably the most iconic destination on the Murphy Coast. Why iconic? Just because it's so picturesque, it's so romantic. Getting lost in the lanes of Positano, it's an experience by itself. It's perched on a hill, which means if you go there with kids and the prime, you will have a hard time. But besides that, it's absolutely fine to walk around. There's almost no traffic. In fact, if you visit the Murphy Coast, I highly not suggest to go by car because it's gonna be really hard to go around. The streets are so small, even the road is so small. And parking there is gonna be an expensive exercise that you want to avoid. The beach, it's okay. You know, it's a black sand that can be quite warm actually in the summer, but it's absolutely fine. It's actually quite large with a small public area. So what is the drawback of Positano? Well, it can be expensive. It's not only the accommodation that are probably the most expensive of the Amalfi Coast, but it's also the fact that uh, you know, food and drinks are all more expensive than any other place in the Amalfi Coast. For example, for a pizza, usually it's between 20 and 25 euros, which means between two and three times the price of a pizza everywhere else in Italy. Of course, you have the best view, you know, it's one of the most beautiful towns to visit and that's what you pay for, not just for the ingredients of a pizza, isn't it? And let's move to town number two, which is Amalfi. Amalfi is probably the second most iconic town uh, of uh, the Amalfi coast. Uh, why do you want to go there? First of all, probably is the town with the best shopping in the area. That is the Duomo of Amalfi, which is incredible. It was built about 600 years ago, and then it was refurbished like the facade only 100 years ago. And you can see these changes in the style as well but it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful place to spend one day. I also suggest to spend at least one night because seeing Amalfi by day and by night, it's a complete different experience. Amalfi is also the best connected town in the Amalfi coast because from there you will have buses to Positano, of course, and all of the west side of the coast and the east side of the coast. And then there is a direct bus to Naples and there is another direct bus to the Naples airport, so you see so many options. Now, another great thing about Amalfi is that uh, you have the Ferrero Valley, which is a valley behind Amalfi, fantastic place for a walk and for some trekking between waterfalls and gorges. Uh, one of the drawbacks of Amalfi is uh, the beach, which is not really beautiful. It's very small, it's mostly private, it's gonna be super expensive experience. But just walk 700 meters and you go to the Atrani beach, which is a complete different experience. Also on the boutique size, but more lovely and also less crowded. Hold on, hold on, I have built a full guide to the Murphy Coast where you can check it out. It's free, you don't need to put any email and that's where you can see also itineraries, the best hotels and all of the things that we are talking also in this video. But let's get back to the video. If you're traveling as a couple and you're looking for a romantic place, uh, you have a few possibilities. Of course, we talk about Positano. Positano is absolutely romantic. It can be expensive, but you know, this is the place of the VIPs, so expect higher prices. The other possibility is Ravello, which is a town more on the hill, it's not on the coast. And that's where usually, you know, the couples for honeymoon go if they want to stay in Positano. 
beautiful amazing view of the whole coast and also it's the place where you will have the music festival it's one of the most important music festival in Italy the other possibility is to stay in Atrani which is only 700 meters from Amalfi so it's very convenient and uh, it's a beautiful boutique town it's a great value for money you know for couples uh, I can only speak highly about this place, also the beach is nice. It's gonna be more of a boutique experience compared to, you know, uh, Positano or to Ravello. And what about if you are on a budget? My suggestion here is to stay in Minori, it's well connected to Amalfi Positano by either bus or ferry. The location is right perfect, you won't have probably the most beautiful view as in Positano, but still you will have a great experience. If you like the content of this video, please subscribe to the channel because in the next few weeks I'm gonna post more about the Amalfi Coast, about the things that you can do, how to spend two, three, four, five days, one week or even ten days in the Murphy Coast, there are so many things to do. If you travel with a family and kids, my suggestion here is to stay in Maiori. Maiori is the place with the biggest beach in the Murphy Coast. It's long, it's wide, it's perfect to play with the kids. So when I go there with my kids, you know, I can think about having half a day on a trip somewhere and then half a day spending at the beach. So it's a win-win situation when traveling with kids. <laughs> And now I'll give you the last town in this video, which is Sorrento. So Sorrento is not technically part of the Amalfi Coast, but so well connected to Positano, to Amalfi, of course, even to Capri and the island of Capri and to Naples too. So it, the location is right perfect. Plus Sorrento is a beautiful town to stay and spend your time. Sorrento is also probably the best nightlife of the area. If you're looking to spend the night until the early, hours of the morning probably Sorrento is even better than Positano and it's also less expensive than Positano. Fare come le rondini. Now the last thing about the question I usually receive on my blog, is it better to visit the Murphy Coast in summer or in winter? I think it's a different experience because in winter you won't have so many tourists around. Of course, Amalfi Costa and the Positano are super famous, so what do you expect? Many people around. But you can't go for a swim and the ferry boat doesn't work usually in winter. So it's gonna be a different experience. I personally like it in winter because it's more of a nostalgic experience but summer has so many more options. And that's all I want to say about where to stay in Amalfi Coast. I'll see you in the next video.